In this video, we'll write the equation for Ag3PO4 plus H2O. This is silver phosphate plus water. So first off, we'll take our solid silver phosphate. We'll put that in liquid water, and we want to know what the equation is for when we do this. So we need to know whether this silver phosphate here is going to be soluble in water, and we can use the solubility rules here to help us. So we're looking for silver or for the phosphate. We see silver a lot as an exception here with sulfates or chlorides. And then down here, phosphates. Most phosphates are insoluble with a few exceptions. So silver phosphate, that's going to be insoluble. We put this in water and nothing happens. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. It remains a solid. So there's really not much of an equation to write. Nothing happens here since this is insoluble. We should note that a very small amount of this will dissolve. When we say insoluble, we mean almost all of it won't dissolve, but there'll be a little bit that dissolves. So we could write the equation for that little bit. We would say silver, that's one plus each one of these, and the whole phosphate ion, that's three minus. So we'd have three silver ions, this is Ag plus, and then we'd have our phosphate ion. And since these are in the liquid water there, we should put Aq for aqueous after them. That means dissolved in water. So this is the equation for Ag3PO4. The little bit that dissolves will break apart into three silver ions and the one phosphate ion. Sometimes you'll see the water written above the arrow. And occasionally you'll see it written here in the products. But since we wrote aqueous, we're saying that these are dissolved in water. So that might be a little bit redundant. So this is a formula for the little bit of Ag3PO4 that dissolves in water. But since it's an insoluble compound, very little will dissolve, only a tiny bit. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.